Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today we are talking again about leveling up since you guys have always requested me to do a lot more leveling up videos. So here is level up part number three probably because I've done two videos already. Today we are talking about how to level up when it comes to your body language and your behavior and how to speak and pretty much everything that comes down to your personality. So today we're gonna to talk, we're gonna be talking about those things today, all right? So before we get into the video, make sure you do follow me on Instagram, here is the handle. And yeah, let's get straight into the video before we waste any more minutes. So point number one, your body language. So many times we actually think that our body language is okay when it actually is not. The way that you'll find out if your body language is really up to the mark, and I'm sorry to be using these strong words, up to the mark, I know, please don't get offended, but we are literally strictly talking about leveling up right now, so yeah, everything has to be up to the mark. It is what it is. So if you think you're, you know, the way you talk or the way you walk, specifically the way you walk and how your body posture is, if you're not satisfied, well, actually, let's be honest, most of the time we think that my body language is fine when sometimes it might not even be that case, right? It's either A, others will be able to tell you, or number two, which is the better option, which is record yourself in the camera or, 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 or for Snapchat, just give your phone to a friend or a family member, ask them to record you while you're talking, while you're walking, maybe in the house or outside, ask them to record you when you're in your flats, and even when you're in your dressed up, glammed up position with your heels on. Record yourself and watch yourself over and over again because this will be the only way you will be able to figure out, okay, maybe I'm slouching too much. Okay, maybe my hands are a little too harsh when I speak. Some people actually are very much like full of expressions and honestly, I have always been that girl. When I was younger, um, I mean, I still am young, but when I was quite younger, I would also speak with my hands. I was so, too much expressions with my hands. And even my father would point it out like, why do you talk so much with your hands like this, this, you're not a man, you know? And I used to get offended when he used to tell me when I was younger, like, why are you talking with your hands? But like, now I understand, yeah, you know what? I feel like a lady should not really be too loud with her hands. It's very natural to be using your hands as expressions. Or, or maybe to convey a serious message, but you can't be too extreme with your hand gestures, okay? For example, just a little example, let's say you're waving somebody, somebody has just left. Now, the old version of me would be like, bye, bye, you know, like this, literally like this, like my hands all open, and just waving at you like this. Now that looks, one, too manly, Two, it looks like you're still a kid, you know, and it's not very ladylike, it's not very feminine, it's not really what a level up lady should do. So now what I would do, thank you, bye, that's it, oh hi. So the key is, you keep your fingers closed as much as possible. Yes, it takes practice. You might feel a little awkward doing that. Like you're so used to being like this open person, openly expressing with your hands. If you are that, you want to level up, be more ladylike, close those fingers. No, snap. There you go. Thank you. Bye. The key also is to make your hands look slimmer. When you do like this, of course, it's like a big palm, it's like manly, and some people have big hands. I guess I have an average big hand as well. It's not, it's not a small hand, let's be honest. If I would do that, mm, too manly, too big, too extreme, a little too much. If I do this, automatically, obviously, now my hand has started looking a little slimmer, right? That's just, and to the human eye, it looks really petite, you know, this is like a petite sign. So this is what you want to do with your hand gestures. So make sure you practice on that because I know many ladies do that and it's actually not very attractive. And another thing, again, with which I have personally struggled with as well, since I've always been very expressionable with my hands, when I flick my hair, I actually used to do this. Like just, just just a fuller hand. I would touch with a very full hand. Don't do that. And I try not to do that anymore either. Now I would just literally take two fingers and just be like this. Again, keeping, you know, my hand kind of closed, 
fingers closed as much as possible and just these two fingers and be like that's it not a big hand like that no no none of this no more no just like this hand closed fingers closed as much as possible use two fingers they're actually more than enough there you go and that's about it now even if you have bangs and you want to take them away i have noticed again it's something i would do too i have noticed when i used to do like this literally with my whole hand like this it looks really bad especially in public don't do that literally just take one finger of yours and do this and you're done that's it so i think that is something i wanted to talk about when it comes to your hands again now coming to your posture stand straight as much as possible if you have difficulty we all do trust me nobody naturally is born with like a really good body language but the main thing is a body language really determines how confident you are as a woman, as a girl, as a lady, even as a man. Your body language shows everything about you. Your body language is going to show people whether you are from a village or even from a city. A body language tells it all. Trust me, a body language will tell people if you are even educated or not educated, you know, and people are not stupid. Many people now have become more aware of these things and the more you observe others, you will understand quite a lot only by looking at their body language, literally. It also shows if you are a leveled up queen or if you are quite a mediocre mindset or if you have no job, literally. Even research shows that when you are jobless, obviously your body language is a little different than when you are a boss, you know. And, and that's what I said earlier, body languages determine your position in life, your position generally in your relationships. It shows a lot of things about you. For example, a new employee obviously is a little slouchy, a little nervous their hand language is a little out of the place because they're new to the position. They haven't really adjusted yet into the position, into the company yet. So they kind of act like they are a stranger, they're a foreigner. You can tell that by their body language. Now, in the same room, when the boss comes, you can tell by the body language. And some people actually have such a bossy, charming personality that even if they're not the boss, they walk and talk like one. It's just they are so confident and they are they have those leadership skills. As soon as they walk they walk in the door, you can tell, oh, somebody has just come in. Now in my level up 101 first video, part one, obviously, I had, you know, talked about a little bit about basic grooming, clothing, not really clothing, but like basic grooming. Make sure you do watch that. It will be, you know, the link will be in the description. But today I really want to talk about like just you know personality and your body language so if you are slouching or anything like that make sure somebody's recording you and then zoom in and observe yourself again and again and don't be foolish when it comes to analyzing yourself because sometimes some people are so obsessed with themselves that no matter how bad and crappy and weird they look they just think oh we are the best oh my god you know their choices in life are different their choices in clothing are different their choices about how they talk and walk are very very different don't do that anymore if we are talking about leveling up honeys we are going all the way up all right and when you do that you have to be a little critical of yourself again nobody else is going to come and do that for you you have to do that for yourself okay so be a little harsh with this process this the more harsher you become with this process the sooner you will get there you know so that is really important to understand so watch yourself analyze yourself and just be like okay when i'm in my heels i am not really walking very straight i am like it looks like as if i'm gonna fall at every step try to fix that try to fix that if you are walking in your flats and you look like you're walking like a little duck again try to fix that because personally even i've had these problems and i fixed everything about that too and so can you honestly it is so easy yes it is a process you have to really work on that but you'll get there you just have to start somewhere right the other thing that we could actually talk about is personality you know personality is something again as i said comes down to your self-esteem as well and please 
don't be too uh, fixed up on your personalities. You know, like for example, some people actually say, oh, I don't have a sense of humor. Oh, I'm so dull. You know, I'm, I'm so mellow. You know what guys that's totally okay some people are extremely extrovert some people are really introverts some people actually get social anxiety and stuff like that again I've had social anxiety for a, quite a long time but you know what from personal experience I would actually tell you and anybody actually would tell you that even if you go to a psychologist it is literally in your mind and at one point you really need to decide okay do you want to really like think about your anxiety all the time and how you are so mellow and like dull in your personality do you really want to like keep it fixed up over there like that because if you want to carry on like that then you know what think about it all day long how, however much you want then you're going to just stay there if you want to change it however then you've got to think very differently then you're going to face the society if you have social issues you know what go out more go out even more yes it is very counterintuitive because you would actually feel like not going anywhere at all and always feel a little awkward even if you end up going somewhere that's natural but we are talking about leveling up you got to get out network socialize and be really confident about that and navigate through everything navigate through all of your problems easily it is just all about your mindset and leveling up is all about a mindset to be honest I think I have told you guys that even in my part one video so leveling up is a whole new mindset and you have to get into that mindset as soon as possible and the more harsh you are on yourself you know what the quicker you're gonna get there because trust me for some people it takes years it takes ages and they still are not able to educate themselves because obviously some people just don't know where to start some people don't have the guidance some people just don't know which step is more important what comes first what comes next they just don't know so they kind of give up while they're still in the process and that is kind of bad and hopefully if you're watching this channel and you've started your journey i hope that i'll be able to help you to kind of get there you know and i hope that you don't give up because that's all i want from you guys if you're watching me guys don't give up that's it this is literally the key the key to success anyway is never giving up so the same goes with leveling up as well because again it is a total different lifestyle as well it is a total different mindset but when i say mindset i really mean everything because when you talk about mindset think about it you start making different choices on a daily regular basis you start having a different routine you know you start making daily small choices for yourself very very differently than you actually did before for example, just a small example, like I used to eat junk from morning till evening. What do I do now? My day usually starts with my fitness routine. I go to the gym. If I don't go to the gym, I'll probably be going to the swim, going for a swim. If I don't go there, I'll probably still be exercising in the house, right? I have my ankle weights, I have my dumbbells. I would do something. I would maybe go for a walk. I would do something and then have a lot of then have a lot of water start with juices you know smoothies and just avocados and eggs and just all those small choices that i make from morning till evening not just with food but with the choice of clothing with the choice of how i talk to others with the with the choice of who i talk to that certain day because as i said when you level up you can't be friends with everybody you can't be connected to every random tom dick and harry you know you have to be so conscious about everything you can't date every random person you can't be friends with every random person you have to be very picky of which relatives you want to connect to you have to be picky which family friends you still want to be connected to so it is a totally different lifestyle it takes a little bit of sacrifice actually it does and yes while you're at it it actually gonna it's actually gonna make you feel a little guilty it actually will especially in the beginning guys you will feel so guilty when you start changing yourself a little bit because why because leveling up is also another name for self-care and self-love and then guess what we have another name related to self-care and self-love which is called selfish in our society so when you start becoming you know leveled up which means obviously you start taking care of yourself self-love self-care self-improvement self-development guess what everybody starts looking at it like selfishness it is what it is okay self-love in our society is the second name for selfish which is really bad but this is how it's kind of looked at so i don't want you to fall for this 
social norm or the social problem I actually would I think it's a social problem to be honest it's just how we are wired to think and sometimes you really have to unwire how you think you know you have to unlearn some things that you grew up with you have to unlearn a few of the patterns that you grew up with or just heard from the society because honestly at the end of the day they don't bring you anything at all so why would you listen to something and believe something that is just being said for ages and centuries but you haven't really experimented with it and I always say if you want to believe in something you know what study it research it or experiment with it and then decide for yourself if you really want to believe so certain things or not Many things are said, you can't just believe on everything that everybody says, right? So yes, people will try to like bring you down, people will try to um, make you feel guilty. Why are you dressing up differently? Why are you talking so differently? Do, who do you think you are, you know? What have you become? Oh my God, you have lost your innocence. Or, oh my God, you have, um, you know, lost yourself. You, you have totally forgotten who you are, da 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 da. Guys. Do you really want to keep remembering who you are for the rest of your life? Mm, I don't think so because let's be real. If you remember who you are, then tell me where were you a few years ago? Did you come from a village? Did you come from poverty? Did you come from an uneducated background? Like what is your thing? I don't know. What is your story? I want to know. Let me know in the comments below. All right. Like what have you come from? And where have you gone and where are you headed because I'll be honest with you you can't fool everybody where you came from is always different than where you're going to and it should be different if it's still the same who is the fool it's you okay so if you still want to remember I am still a villager I am still mediocre I am still ugly I am still mellow I am still zero sense of humor girl I am still the weird one the weird looking one I am still the fat one I am still uneducated I'm whatever I don't know what your thing is but if you keep remembering where you came from you're not gonna get anywhere it is good to be humble but don't confuse being humble with remembering and being fixated about where you actually came from because that is only going to keep you on that level it's not gonna let you grow anywhere at all and like, you won't be able to go anywhere for that so leave those thoughts you don't have to remember every single day I come from a mellow personality so I'm gonna stay mellow every day no you're not no it's not true who told you that or maybe if you say oh my god I am I have been very very fat so uh, you know I can't forget where I came from because I come from a very fat family who told you that that you still have to remind yourself every single day about that that's gonna just keep you there that's gonna make you give up every single day and I don't want you to give up so you don't need to remember every day where you came from because nobody cares about that and neither should you yes being humble being a nice person being kind generous helpful yes that is what a level up leveled up queen actually is all about anyway she is very very nice she's gentle she's helpful she's polite well spoken she's all of that but a fool she's not okay one more thing if you are not able to walk in heels Come on, what are you doing? You have to be able to walk in your damn heels. All right, there is no excuse for you. Um, I don't mean you have to wear like six inch heel every day. However, I do mean start with a small kitten heel, you guys, start with a kitten heel. I actually love and adore kitten heels. I think they look very cute. They're still very comfortable and they're so feminine. Like a pointy, nice kitten shoe looks so beautiful. Again, some people will tell you, oh, they're so old fashioned. However, don't care about that because I think they look quite vintage and they are very classy. And, they, and I think a kitten heel, a classic pointy, pointy toe kitten heel will never go out of style. So get you one of those, please. And I think if you watch me on Snapchat and Instagram, you guys know I have so many kitten heels and I'm wearing kitten heels literally every other day because of course, I know I can't be walking in six inch heels or four inch heels every single day especially when you're going out and about in london for hours and hours until evening i know you can't be walking in your long ass heels all the time however you can have your kitten heels with you you know and sometimes here is another tip by the way if you are out and about 
let's say you're going shopping and after shopping you have plans to meet another friend maybe go dinner or whatever that means you are out of the house for very long hours now here's what I want you to do <laughs> carry a nice extra bag with you like a shopper bag like one of those Ted Baker nice shopper bags I really love those like I can always carry my extra things in there when I'm going for the whole damn day so I'll have like my little purse with me but then like an extra bag in my hand like a nice shop bag I love their plasticky ones I will actually give you guys a link in the description check the ones out that I'm talking about if you're like out and about you know what they actually look very classy and they're not even that expensive so yeah so get you one of those in the medium size and then you can actually carry your extra things in there let's say maybe your camera maybe maybe a little bit of your snacks and just like a few extra girly stuff in there right but then i also carry either a pair of flats or a pair of sneakers when you're out take an extra pair of sneakers or your flats i don't know just get you an extra bag or even if you have a big purse however you know what since again we're talking about leveling up I don't really recommend one of those big purses unless you're going for work then yes those big you know Louis Vuitton never fold bags and you know those size bags okay fine I get it um, the tote bags whatever they're called take those but if you're out and about doing your thing with your girls I don't know maybe on a date whatever don't carry those big bags they can actually look very intimidating and they don't look that classy why because they take the eye away from your beauty and away from your outfit and again it's your choice if you have like a really maybe new nice flashy designer bag that you really want to like flash off right now and you're feeling it a little bit you know what go ahead however if it's like a casual handbag you don't want to carry that because it's going to take attention away from your outfit and I think again I don't know what type of girl you are some actually some girls actually love attention on their bags but most of us want attention you know on the makeup probably maybe on the hair or maybe just the outfit right so keep it like that and therefore I really prefer like the small clutches the clutch bags or maybe even the shoulder bags or the little sachet bags I hope I pronounce it correctly right now but you get the point that's the purses I actually recommend you guys to carry with you every day when you're out and about other than work okay and then again that extra little Ted Baker little shopper bag whatever and then you have your sneakers in there you have your flats in there and then you can switch it up you know and kitten heels easily fit into that as well so if you're getting tired or take your shoes off put them in the bag with your flats so don't make yourself way too comfortable okay like sneakers 24 7 or just rough canvas 24 7 you guys it does not really look nice and i'm so sorry again we're talking about leveling up over here and leveling up is really not about laziness there's no laziness allowed in leveling up okay again many girls will actually sit with you and tell you i actually quite like when girls don't do makeup like it's really nice to see their natural skin sometimes da -da 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 -da. <sighs> guys natural skin either looks good on men okay or on little babies until their age of 12 16 15 whatever after that nobody wants to see your skin because naturally now you have probably a little bit of open pores when you hit puberty you have acne right you have uh, pimples blackheads start coming anyway when you 20 by 20 you all have blackheads okay let's be honest you have white heads yeah you have open pores all of that there is probably maybe like one person out of like 200 that actually has good skin and they want to show off their good skin guess what you are blessed so happy for you but it's not everybody else you know so don't be sitting with girls like who will actually tell you I quite like when girls don't do makeup and are, are comfortable in their own skin da, da 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 you know what they are just trying to make you feel bad that you have put the time in yourself to make yourself ready while they have been lazy all day probably washing the dishes honestly literally doing nothing with their life and they're too lazy to put any amount of time and energy and effort into their looks they're not about that life and guess what it's good for them it's their choice it's everybody's personal choice what they choose to be in life what they choose to do in life what they choose to be seen like in life okay everybody's personal choice 
but we here are talking about leveling up so this is our choice okay so yeah don't let anybody like literally kind of bring you down because this type of mindset is actually gonna put you in a position where you'll be questioning yourself okay so does that mean i don't have confidence that much because she just said that i should be confident enough in my own skin which i actually am but i still love doing effort on myself so am i not confident you see what happened there you've started doubting yourself and you're going to waste so much time doubting yourself i'd rather put that i'd rather for you put that time into getting ready be neat and clean be presentable take care of yourself do whatever it takes you know go to the gym whatever you have to lose weight whatever you got to do even i have lost weight you guys know that so do whatever you have to do don't listen to comments like that because usually comments like that always always tend to come from people who really just don't have the time they're too lazy they have no energy to put effort into their own self so they obviously are going to sit with you and tell you i don't like dressing up every day guess what they don't like dressing up any day of the week anyway and you don't want to be about that life you probably have work to do you probably have other things to do you probably want to have a social network i don't know what you want in life if you've decided to level up you can't be about that life where you're just lazy and not putting any effort anymore you have to one more thing you know what i think this would be like the last part for today guys don't swear too much talk a little polite again i feel like i have talked about this in my level uh, up 101 part number one video again make sure you do watch it the link is in the description below um however i did talk about like being polite well spoken it matters so much don't talk rudely to anybody honestly again as i said the way you talk the way you walk your personality your body language shows everything about you every single thing the way somebody talks to you will show you that they're not even educated like where are they coming from like excuse me there is a way of talking to everybody and if you are one of those arrogant bitches i'm sorry this is not the space for you because Arrogance, first of all, doesn't get you anywhere in life and arrogance is only going to put you in a complex because then you'll be just like either competing with everybody because you think you're so good and you just want to compete with everybody and show everybody that you're the best because this is a part of being arrogant. Arrogant, Don't be that. And I hope nobody arrogant watches my channel because it's kind of annoying. <laughs> it really is. Um, or maybe I'm also saying that because I've seen so many arrogant people in my life and it's just like at this point I'm just like, get over yourself get over yourself you are nothing and i think we all humans are nothing anyway at the end of the day we're all gonna die okay and we all have this one life and i think we need to make the most of it and we need to make the best of it okay so coming back to the point don't talk to anybody with very much rudeness or arrogance because that really shows everybody that a you're not happy with yourself b you're a very ungrateful and unthankful person because a girl nagging is the ugliest thing anybody can see everybody will tell you that even if you ask a man they will actually tell you that they hate women complaining and nagging all the time and like sounding ungrateful and when you're rude and arrogant the way you speak automatically starts sounding very like uneducated ish you know and very rude and ungrateful type and you don't want to sound like that no you want to sound like you're a very happy very content person you you have substance in yourself you are well read you are educated and there is a way to speak to somebody you always start by greeting someone ne even in public never go up to somebody and just be like what's the time hmm get over yourself go to the person and be a little polite and just be like hi i'm so sorry to disturb i really wanted to know what time it is if you'll be able to tell me oh thank you so much sir thank you this is how you talk this is the way you talk in this world on planet earth this is what you do as humans you don't just be like i didn't like your story delete that that sounds ratchet that sounds like you're from you just came from the hood from the dirtiest part of the city this is how it sounds like literally it sounds like you've never read a single book in your life it sounds like you've never been to school and i you, and, and you know what you don't want to make that impression on anybody okay but even the women who or even men women whatever when they don't come from a very educated background and stuff they still have groomed themselves so much and they have learned these basic etiquettes and they have leveled up in life so much that they understand that they can't now sound like they are literally 
illiterate and stupid and rude like they're ratchet or they're from the shittiest part of the city they don't want to sound like that anymore they really try to refine themselves they work on themselves and that is i think that is just so admirable because i know when you start doing these things everybody literally tells you all the time don't forget where you came from you're an uneducated fat woman what do you think of yourself do you think now you're educated just because you can speak nicely da -da 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 -da. you know girl talk i feel like never ends to be honest that is why i never want you guys to pay attention to that anyway because at the end of the day number one you're not hurting anybody number two you're just trying to work on yourself okay anybody can get a makeover and a complete transformation within two three hours and look like another new person but then as soon as they speak, as soon as they walk, as soon as they talk, it's like, ew, where did she come from? Oh my God, did you see her? <gasps> this is what you're gonna get, right? So, mm -mm. no, get it together. And then it's also the confidence level. Leveling up is about self-love, self-esteem, self-confidence, self-development, self-improvement, self-education. It's about everything. And when you, you know, have self-confidence, that is literally the key that is the most beautiful part of leveling up because even if you already have good self-esteem and confidence which is great but as, as you start the process and you start you know kind of working on everything else as well it boosts your confidence on on another level it takes it up a notch you know as soon as you start becoming a little bit more confident you start having higher standards for yourself you start ha putting you start actually putting more value on yourself and then of course people around you will obviously you know kind of observe that and make you feel bad about it of course that is a part of that you know like that is why i'm seeing this again and again and emphasizing this so much because it is a part of it and it is what everybody goes through and I know almost everybody does give up at one point point. You know, they get tired but you can't you know you I don't want that for you like if you're watching this you can't get tired just keep working on that you know keep working on improving yourself developing yourself educating yourself becoming a better best version that you can of yourself take a notebook write it down write down what does your best potential self look like write it down and then work towards that every single day and you know what the funny thing is no matter how much we talk and say crap at the end of the day in all our minds all of us everybody every girl our best potential self is always like this amazing woman who has a beautiful family who has a nice house a home good food you know probably a good partner a good companion um, decent kids you know good schooling for them and apart from that she always wants a good figure you know looking great traveling good eating good good few friends a good fitness routine she has a gym uh, life as well and she has a social circle as well and she eats well and she sleeps well and she has good clothes and this is what all of you all's best potential self looks like so no matter how much some people act like you know like i get this all the time oh my god you girls are so conscious about yourself no we're not actually you are being conscious of yourself and that is why you feel the need to comment like this on us because guess what a leveled up woman is not even concerned about your ass how lazy you are how ugly you are she's not concerned about you she's not you are right here so concerned about her so who is being conscious right now the one who's not even giving a flying monkey or the one who is so concerned with what's going on with another person like who is conscious here make sense good write it down what is your best potential self how does she look like with her looks does she have long hair short hair like, how does she look like how is her skin like how is her body like how is her lifestyle like like what's her fitness routine how is the food what is it what is she what is she what is she doing does she have a good career or not like or is she just chilling like whatever it is write it down if you have never thought about this before think about it now write it down right now in the comment section what does your future best potential self look like if your name is farah or Fatima tell me Fatima what does your future self like the best best version that you can think of yourself not what you think you can do no 
be limitless endless just just write down ideally be very be very uh, generous with that don't put limitations don't do that don't put limitations. it's also a little exercise for you guys don't put any limitation like you know what no I shouldn't really write that I would be a size 8 because I think I can never get there it's not about what you can do right now it's about what does your best potential self look like write it down does she have a career how does she look body wise looks wise clothing wise lifestyle wise home life family life food life gym life what is it all about what is it no the reason is I really need you to start thinking about this and I think writing your best potential self you know what I would love to read that too um, it will probably give me more ideas and everybody else who would read it it would really kind of help them to think about these things as well writing your best potential self you know what I would love to read that too um, it will probably give me more ideas and everybody else who would read it it would really kind of help them to think about these things as well these were the only points that came into my mind again I wasn't really prepared for this video so I just came here randomly and now I better go and wash my face take makeup off because it's literally the middle of the night I'm recording this for you guys thank you for watching have a great time make sure you do subscribe to the channel and don't leave without commenting strictly you know we'll be doing more giveaways every week we have just given away one glam growth hair oil to a winner as well and we will be doing a lot more giveaways for my you know for my products and stuff make sure you do check out my website which is ishakasnice.com and everything that I wear and like do and talk about in the videos usually everything is always mentioned in the comments sec no not in the comment section in the description below thank you for watching take care bye